Hey, what's up? This is Marcus here from Full Tilt Remix, and I'm going to show you how to do a DJ style edit using Ableton Live, which is pretty simple. A DJ edit being basically just a shortened or a chopped down version of a longer song or a remix or something you don't necessarily need or want to play all of at a club gig and whatnot. So having a shortened version of it on hand is kind of handy. So um, go ahead and open up Ableton Live, and we'll flip over to the arrangement view. This is just the default project that loads when I start Ableton. It's got an audio and a MIDI track in there. Um, the audio track's all we really need, although I'll, the MIDI track I use just uh, to uh, easily do the edits, and I'll show you how in just a second. So um, once you have that open, just go ahead and use your browser over here on the left-hand side and navigate to the folder uh, where your audio file is that you want to do an edit of, and go ahead and just drag it in there to the uh, to the empty audio track. Uh, make sure it's sort of nudged right up there at the beginning. If we click down here at the bottom, you notice it'll build a waveform view for you really quick. And once that's done, we'll just go ahead and zoom in here to the beginning of the audio file. Um, the number one there indicates that's the start of the first bar of the song, a bar being four beats. Um, for the most part, Ableton gets this right. Um, Every now and then it gets it. Every now and then it gets it wrong. So um, I'm actually going to adjust this a little bit just so I can show you how to how to do that manually. Um, in the gray timeline, or excuse me, in the, just in this little gray line right here, directly above the waveform. If you double click on any point in it, um, it'll put in a marker, which it just did there. Um, the other one that it automatically put in there. What I'm going to do is right click it and then just delete it. Um, if we go back to that marker we put in. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set 1.1.1 here. We're basically just telling Ableton that this is where we want the audio file to begin. Um, if you right-click it again and select Warp From Here Straight, uh, what Ableton will do is basically extrapolate the markers for the remainder of the song uh, based on where that 1.1 that starting point is. And to make sure if you got it right, just zoom out here towards the end. And if you see, like, for example, at, at 176.4 right here, beats are mostly in the right place, but it's not perfect. So what we'll do is just sort of tighten that up by double-clicking, putting in a marker there at the start of that downbeat, and just sort of dragging it over to the nearest marker. Um, and again, just to make sure that we've got it correct, I'm just going to pick a random spot in the middle here to sort of spot check it. Um, if we see here, like, at 75, pretty much in the right place, no problem there. Um, so once that's done, uh, over on the left-hand side in the sample box, if you, if you hit save, uh, it'll store all that information in a little file that's in the same folder as your audio track is or your audio file is. Um, the different settings under sample, you can leave the warp and gauge, that's fine. Um, make a note of the tempo here, it says 127.98. Just make sure it matches your project tempo up here in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, in this case it doesn't, so I'm going to actually adjust it. And I'll round it up to 128 since uh, the difference there is pretty negligible. Um, okay, so you got your tempo set. By default, uh, in Ableton for me, it defaults to beats. That's fine. Where it says preserve, it defaults to transient, which you see there. Um, I'm actually going to switch that to 1 16ths. Um, I just like the way it sounds better personally, but again, it's up to you. Um, trust your ears, not your eyes. You know, Go with whatever sounds best. Uh, and then hit save again. It'll store all that information in there. And from that point, your audio file is pretty much prepped and ready to go. Keep in mind, this really only works best with audio so audio tracks or songs, remixes that have a relatively even tempo and, you know, sort of a straight timing. Uh, if you're trying to do this with like an older track, say from like the 70s or 80s where the beats can drift a little bit, um, it's not nearly as easy. You'll have to sort of manually go through the audio file and, you know, sort of, you know, place markers in there um, to sort of get it to stick to a tempo, but for for newer tracks, hip hop, house, uh, anything electronic, for the most part, you should be able to get this um, sort of set and running uh, relatively easy like I just did here. So, okay, so we'll sort of zoom out of that. And, okay, so the reason I picked this track, this is actually the Wolfgang Gartner and Will I Am track Forever. Um, it's got a nice long intro and a nice long sort of outro break at the end that are that are really easy to sort of chop up and, and tighten up for a, for a DJ edit. So um, if we kind of zoom in here, I'll play you just little bits of this incrementally um, just to sort of show you how the track builds. So this is the beginning of the song. Okay. And this is the beginning of the next sort of 32-beat segment. 
and the next one after that. Sort of the vocals start filtering in there. And then then that next 32 beat segment, you've got more of the vocals still filtering in. So at the one minute mark, that's where the sort of the meat of the song begins. So what I'm going to do is actually chop out some of these uh, these eight bar or 32 beat segments. Um, the reason I left the MIDI track in there is it makes it easy to sort of highlight and then select the uh, audio track above it. So I'm going to leave the first 32 beats in there. I'm going to chop out the next 32. So again, I just sort of highlight under it and just drag it up and hit the delete key. And I'm going to do the same for the next 32 and the next 32 after that. So now you've chopped this down. Actually, you, you pull the main song back to, back up to, to where uh, to where that, that first edit is. So that you can see there you've got a nice seamless edit uh, going on. So we've chopped a one minute intro down to about 15 seconds. Uh, and if I play this, you can see that because you've done the, the sort of beat gritting on the song there at the beginning, um, you've got a nice seamless edit. Okay, that's kind of dry. So if you want, you can actually sort of spice this up a little bit. Um, this right here, if I play it from the start, from this, this beat right here, it starts with a snare. So what I do is just highlight that snare. And if I hit Control D, it'll duplicate it. Gives you a little bit of a sort of a rhythmic variation there just so that the edit itself is not so dry. Um, again, you can do this any way you want. There's, you know, no uh, hard and fast rules. If I want to get even a little more creative, if I take that second snare and highlight the first half and then hit Control D and duplicate that, it gives it just that much more variation. So I'll play that again one more time. Okay, so that's the beginning. If we come back here to the end, um, the outro on the song. Begins right about there. So what I'll do is um, I'm just going to highlight that first block there and delete it. And what I'll do is I'll jump ahead. Uh, let's see here. We've got, okay. So we've got this section here that we can chop out if we like. So let's go ahead and do that. And if I pull this back here and play it for you, you can hear the edit. And if you want to even tighten it up even further, you can uh, chop out like another couple bars here. This is a, what is that? Okay, so we'll chop out another 32 beat or a eight bar segment there. And there you've got a nice clean edit at the end. It's sort of a, Tighten it up a little bit. We've taken, you know, five and a half minute track and cut it down to we're at about four minutes now. So yeah, that's how you do a DJ edit in Ableton Live. Um, just make sure you do the the sort of beat gritting there at the first, and you're good to go. Um, you can chop this up any way you like. Um, you can even even make it shorter if you want. You know, sort of drop out after that first chorus at the uh, towards the beginning of the song and chop this down to say about two minutes. So. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up, Marcus at FullTiltRemix.com, and I'll see you next time.